Alright, howdy howdy, it's Sneaky Blue 22 and we're back at it again with Bear With Me. Now, last time we got some information out of the, uh, you know, the two fish guys. <laughs> and we got a quarter for serving them a good drink. So let's see if we can phone anyone, anyone with the phone booth. Who are you calling? Log. Shh. Stanton. Stanton, is that you? Yeah, I need to talk to the commissioner. Is he in? Come on, man. I need to talk to him. It's important. Well, tell him it's someone else. I owe you, buddy. Locke. Yeah, no, it's me. But wait, wait. I have some new info on the case. What do you mean it's done? It's not done. Skinner was just buying the stuff. Someone else? What? Listen, just meet me at the old lighthouse. Tonight. Down by the bay. Bring the boys and... Lock, lock. <sighs> God damn it. He hung up? He hung up. So what, we're on our own? Like that's out of the norm. Once more into the fray, kid. You up for it? It's really not fair, you know that. What isn't? How everyone's treating you. I, it's fine, kid. I'm not doing this for credit. Still, you basically solved this case on your own. I wasn't on my own. I had some help. So what now? Let's go see how Robbie's doing. Okay, I guess we gotta go see how Robbie's doing. Man, why does everyone keep hanging up on him? When somebody says they have important information, you don't hang up on them. Okay, let's check on Robbie. Is he still here? Yeah, there he is. Hey, sweet cheeks. How you holding up? I mean, really, Ted? What? I was talking to him. Oh, I I'm just getting some rest. M my head is still... That's great, buddy. Good to hear it. Listen, we need your help. What's the plan here, Ted? Okay. As far as PCPD is concerned, the case is closed. Smiley is going down for a long time. Great. Case closed. Get out. Not quite, doll. Oh. Those two idiots are going to meet with whoever's hiring them. Tonight. And your plan is to... We're going to bring the heat. But you just said that the police aren't going to help. The police aren't, but you are. Oh, I don't know about this. It, 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 it sounds dangerous. Don't worry. You were already dead once today. Oh, o okay then. So... We need to make some modifications to this guy first. Oh, I get it. We're gonna bluff. That's right, kid. We'll need some bright lights up there. Play some police noises and boom. We got ourselves a confession. Well, either that or we'll get shot. That's... that's what I mean. Either is fine. Um... <laughs> Alright, people. Oh my god. Let's get to work. And when I say people, I mean you, Fix. I got that, Ted. Okay, does she need anything? Great. You can take this one with you. Nah, I just wanted to check on you. Ted, stop goofing around and sort this out. So can we just go to the lighthouse then? Robbie Robotson. Poor guy. He's been through a lot. Well, at least he's alive now. Good point. I still have his finger for some reason. All right, I guess we'll just go to the lighthouse and see what happens. Hopefully Fixie can, you know, fix him in time. So this is the place? It's the place, all right. But it's not the time. Yet. No, I mean for the showdown. I like the location. It's... it's nice. Kind of a cliche, <laughs> if you ask me. But no one ever... Dad? Yeah. For what it's worth, I had fun working with you. Ah, oh, shucks, kid. Don't get all mushy on me now. Shut up. I just wanted to let you know. That's all. Thanks, kid. I had a good time, too. But it's not over yet, mind you. I know, I know. So, shall we go check what's inside? That's the plan. It's so sweet. It's the sea. Calming. Use the sea? Really? Can you not use the sea? <laughs> It's just a bush. Shrubbery of some kind. 
Might be a good hiding place or something. Good point. Into the lighthouse. Okay. Well, the luminarium stuff is already it's here. Down. I can't open it like this. Hmm. It's just a rope. We could have used that back at the cinema. Oh yeah. Go back in time. Are you? What? Never mind. We don't need it. <laughs> All right. First aid kit. I'll take the bandages with me. You never know. Well, I know how to open this at least. Boop. Use the crowbar. It's full of light bulbs. Take one with you. Way ahead of you. Is there nothing else in there that I can use? No? Yep. Nah, Got a light bulb. not right now. Really, we're not going up there? Alright. Well, I guess I could use the light bulb on Robbie. I think. Let's see if Robbie could use this. Nah, I should attach a spotlight first. Spotlight? What are you talking about? Hmm. Where could I find a spotlight? Anything in the junkyard? Hmm. Well, just the cat. Spotlight. Where would I... Where would I find a spotlight? There's nothing in the paper daily, is there? Hmm. Doesn't really look like there's anything here that I could use. The jungle jazz bar! Oh! I'm dense. I didn't. Oh, I forgot about it. When she fell through the trap door, a spotlight fell down. Hopefully, nobody minds me, uh. You know, stealing a spotlight off the stage. Oh, good. I was hoping I'd get something heavy and broken to carry around again. Well, I'm glad we figured that out. Can we combine them? Nice. The bulb fits. Perfect. Now we just have to go back to Fixie's place and we can hook it up to Robbie. Now, if only she could give him, like, a chainsaw for an arm or something, you know? Something cool. Okay, just attach that to Robbie. Okay, it's on, but it won't stay on. We need to secure it somehow. Maybe welding? No, there's no need. Just tape it or something. Plus, we're missing the bulb. It's not going to work like this. We just put the bulb in it. There, it's working. It's using power from his auxiliary battery. How are you feeling, Robbie? It feels okay, I, I guess. Great, we're all set. I have a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, kid. This is definitely not the stupidest thing I've ever done. Just shut up, Ted. You're not helping. Fair enough. Let's go. Finally! Try not to get him killed again. He'll be fine, won't you? 
Um, I really don't think. See. Okay, let's head out. He'll be fine. Probably. All Besides, right, he's a robot. Captain, this is it. You ready? I'm... I, I don't... Will you stop freaking him out? Right. I'm sorry. Listen, Robbie, it's going to be fine. The kid and I are going up top. And you stay here hidden. Uh, um... Exactly. When you hear the door slam up top, you start blasting that light and play some police sounds. That's it. Can you do that? Yeah. <laughs> sure, I, I, I can do that. I knew you'd pull through. You're one of them tough accountants, aren't you? I mean, I, I was voted. Yeah, I know you are. You stay hidden until you hear the door slam, okay? Okay. I'm ready, guys. G good luck. All right. Kind of scary. Okay. The boys in blue are on their way. Where's your employer? She'll be here soon. Just remember the deal, Bear. We get full immunity. I can't get you full immunity. You're kidnappers. Okay, but maybe half immunity? Um, sure. Why not? Shh, I hear someone. Okay, this is it. Places, people. Here they are. Good evening, ma'am. What's good about it? Ma'am, we were thinking and... No, you won't. Otherwise, you wouldn't tell that goddamn bear about the relays. I... I'm still talking, Fresh. Now, Skinner got arrested. But we thought you wanted him out of the picture. Not like this. The bulls will make him sing. You two need to take care of him. <clears throat> Speaking of the police... What's this? Lose the cloak, would you? You're not fooling anyone. Well, well. I knew it! You two got this far? I'm somewhat impressed. Miss Warkovsky? I mean, kid, you're the only one still surprised by this? He doesn't know you well enough. I should have known something was up. I'm surrounded by incompetent idiots. And by us! And yet, the only one I hired because he is an incompetent idiot turned out to not be so incompetent after all. Good job, Bear. Oh, by the way, I cracked the case. It was you all along. Well, you're still not getting paid. Seeing you behind bars will do. That's funny, Snoop. In case you forgot how to count, you're outnumbered. But, are we really? I've had enough of this. Take care of him, will ya? Um, door slam. Mm, nice. Okay. You got this. Okay, Robbie What's figured it out at the police? So, mind doing a recount? Go to hell, Snoop! What are you waiting for? Shoot him! I'm... I'm sorry, ma'am. What? What are you... Killed him! Now! Ma'am, we um... They sold you out, is what he's trying to say. It's over, Miss Rakovsky. Harold, you spineless bastard! Ah! Oh my god! I didn't expect that. I did they did. just die? Told you this was a cliche location. These things always turn out this way. I'm sorry, Barry. I can't believe he's gone, Gus! Come on, let's go get Robbie. Yeah, he's probably freaking out. <laughs> I mean, if they hit the ground, he would be freaking out. Hopefully they landed in the ocean. Somehow, this all turned out for the best. I would rather see Lifty Warkovsky behind bars than dead, but I guess she didn't share my sentiment. The bodies were never recovered, however, and it's anyone's guess as to what happened to them. The official statement issued by the PCPD pinned Skinner as the sole mastermind behind the events. 
despite my best efforts to expose the whole truth. Locke wasn't interested. A scumbag in jail is worth two scumbags in the wild, he said. On the bright side, with a little help from the fresh, all the missing robots were dug up and put back together. He got a good deal in the process. He never did see Harold again, though. Aww. At the press conference, Locke and his goons took the stage. We were pushed aside, but hey, as I told the kid already, I'm not doing this for credit. Some robots were saved. That's enough for me. In the light of all the recent events, I finally mustered up some courage to pick up the phone and give Betty a call. All I got was her voicemail. It will be a long time before I find the courage again. I like to think she's better off. Anyways, I guess, in the end, just like me, she kind of dodged a bullet too. Robbie's doing fine. He's back to his usual self. Whatever that is. Fixie Mender got a little press coverage as well. Her business got a boost, and I'm really glad for her. I'm glad for all of them. I've spent so much time brushing up against Paper City's underbelly that I forgot about the good people living here. People I like to call friends. I'm sad to see the kid go, but I understand. He's got his own thing going on. There's not much room left for an old relic such as myself. And that's... that's okay. I'm sure Amber is going to be just fine. The important thing is that Flint now understands that what happened wasn't really his fault. I'm just glad that by the end he got to feel a little more at ease. Sam caught us as we were leaving the conference. He took a picture of the real hero, as he puts it. I couldn't agree more. Who cares about recognition anyways? The kid was the real hero of the story. He did good. He saved them robots and he saved me. He gave me something to do. Man, that's so cute. You just rest, kid. I'll wake you up when we're home. Hey, Ted? Yeah. I was thinking. Now, that's dangerous. No, seriously. Maybe we could do this again sometime. You know, you and me. Oh, and Amber. Like, the three of us. That. That sounds nice, kid. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's. <coughs> would you close the window? Sure, buddy. <clears throat> There's ash from the engine flying in. <clears throat> Just a sec. Oh, man. Thank you. No, kid. Thank you. ending that's really sad if you know what happened at the end of episode 3 Flint falls asleep from the carbon monoxide and doesn't wake up which is why Amber and her parents moved to a different apartment Flint doesn't wake up. <laughs> oh, there's Ted in his little magnifying glass. Oh no. And, like, I love this story. There was a chameleon? That poor chameleon. 
Because, yeah, they, the apartment after this, uh, it goes up in flames. <laughs> oh, there's Pixie! <laughs> I get why she looks like that now. That's cool. But, yeah. So he never really gets to, uh... They never really get to have that, you know, that solving mysteries together with Amber, Flint, and Ted. Because <laughs> after this, it's just like, they lost Flint. Man, what a game. I love story-driven like driven games like this. This is just like... It's heart-wrenching. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta say, if you've never played this, you should give it a go. This is a really good game. It's just a point-and-click, but it's... Oh, the story. The story gets me on a whole different level. Man. This is the type of game that I would replay just to get the emotions again. Oh. I feel bad for Flint and Amber. My question is, how did Ted get out of the building? Because we see him in uh, episodes 1, 2, and 3. But here, Flint doesn't... He doesn't wake up from his nap. So did he throw the bear out the window? Or did they just find... You know... Did they just find... Ted? Or maybe the apartment didn't go up that badly. Oh... Man... Every time we end a series of Bear With Me, like, one of the episodes, I cry. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's the end of Bear With Me, Lost Robots, the prequel to episodes 1, 2, and 3. Oh, man. I gotta say, I love the game. I think you guys should check it out. It needs a lot more, you know, it needs more popularity. It's just, like, really good. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!